We're not interested in buying anything today. Thank you, though. Yes? That isn't the reason for our visit. Are you Mr. Fairchild? I am. I'm Miss Robinson. I'm a social worker with Life Care Services. This is your son, Deshaun. You're his only kin and his mom passed away a week ago. Look, his mother and I had an arrangement. Take that thing somewhere else. That? This is a person. He's your son and you're his only family. Honey, who is it? It's no one. Go back to the kitchen and make my tacos. Uh, hello? I'm Miss Fairchild. I'm Miss Robinson. And I was just speaking to your husband about his son. Son? What? Come on in. Are you happy? Take that thing to social services or whatever you do, somewhere else other than here. Wyatt, it is bad enough that you had a mistress and then to treat this boy this way? That is disgusting. Come on, honey. You wanna get something to eat? He's your only biological son, Mr. Fairchild. Please do right by him. He is a bright young boy. <laughs> I seriously doubt that. His mother was a disappointment. And I bet the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You're not fooling anyone here, Mr. Fairchild. Imani loved you as you loved her. She left this photo album for you as well. Armani didn't love her. She did for me what that woman in the kitchen can't do. Gave me an heir. And you know what? That's what your kind is only good for anyway. <laughs> Give me my son's book. Don't touch things that don't belong to you. Your room is in the basement. I don't want my friends and family seeing you. And if they do see you, you tell them I saved you from Africa or something like that. Wyatt, how could you? Look, you have no say in this. If you could give me an heir, he wouldn't even be here right now. Abby. You see what you made me do? Go to your room in the basement, now! We almost finished with the underwater sub, Tosh. In total, we will have a total of 144,000 that would be covering ocean floors. Wow, Sor, that's our biggest project yet. I'm not sure that we have support for this. I'm going to Florida to scout out marine biologists. I'll need you on this trip. The government has paid us in full and they want to know our finding. In full? Wow, that's amazing, sir. We'll be ready to lounge in two months tops. Not necessarily. I have to go to Haiti and Argentina. <laughs> Without permission from the mermaids, <laughs> It'll be a suicide mission. You want to call Selma? She's diverse, you know, and can speak to them. The only deal breaker with her is that she will not go past that drain passage. Hello? Yes, this is his assistant speaking. I will relay the message to him. Oh, okay. Thank you. That was the front desk. Garrett and Fairyway are on their way here. Remind me to fire that front desk. Will do, and I'll get the plane ready for you, sir. Is that my baby brother? Goodness, how you've grown. Looks like you're doing well for yourself, son. Don't call me that. And yes, I'm sure you see the articles. I'm very wealthy. Oh, heck yeah, we've seen it. And congratulations and everything. I haven't heard from neither one of y'all since I've left college. Why are you here? Jean. 
I'm dying. And the company, it's failing. I'm about to file bankruptcy. Sounds like a personal problem. Uh, okay, uh, Deshaun. Okay, wait. I know life for you as a kid wasn't easy. You called my dead mother an incubator full of air, like she was some type of surrogate for your agenda. I was raised in a different time. I was forced to do things like my father taught me. I'm sorry. I loved your mother. You don't get to keep memories of my mother. What do you want? You want my money? Sell me the company. Now wait a minute. That's my company. Garrett, you employee, and obviously not a good one, if the company has failed. That company's been in my family for generations. It's all I have. Okay, I want part ownership. You two are in no position to negotiate. You have no buying power, no asset, other than Abigail House. Let her rest in peace. I give you $3 million and 20% of the company. However, your jobs will be giving to the black people in the community. Wait. Take it or leave it. You two are in no position to ask me for anything. Thank you, Deshaun. We'll go with your conditions. The moral of the story is we cannot choose our parents.